Hey, so in today's video, I'd like to talk to you about why adventure is super important. And before we get into that, I'd like to share something with you. The, the, the reason this video is being made, per se. It's, I'm starting a blog. It's my new adventure. This is, we'll, we'll get into that in a moment. But um, I'm starting a blog. It's right here. It's going to be right over here. And I'm going to read... It, it, like, it's going to be like a mini script, in a way. It's not going to be one-to-one, -one, but it's going to keep me in line, per se, compared to my uh, my usual ramble, I guess you'd say. But, um, yeah, if you, it, it's it's like an extension of my thoughts. It's more deep in, I'd say. Or Well, I, I don't know just yet, actually. It, it seems like it might be a bit of a balance, but I'm, I'm thinking this is more of a solidified, edited version of Jake's thoughts that is... Ex it's extended and it's just better. It's just better. So if you'd like to read it, the blog is going to be there. We only have one by the time this is uploaded, of course, but um, with more will come more, right? So so eventually we will have a solid catalog. But for now, we're just trying this and we're going to see how it works. And e either way it goes, I might, I might not keep this in the video idea that I have. I'm I might just make it a separate thing entirely. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it turns out. But for now, I want to try this mini script idea. So uh, if you'd like to read it, it'll be down there in the, in the description. And yeah, I, I hope you stick around for it. I'm sure it will help you a ton. Anyway, let's get right into it. So why is adventure important? I can't speak for everybody because everybody holds different values to different things and adventure is one of them. But to me, we're because I'm the only one who can say what solidified 100%. To me, it's crucial. It is of the utmost importance because I cannot live a good day without some adventure, without some challenge. Some people can. Some people don't need constant challenges every single day. And that, that's perfectly fine. If you're one of those people, it, it, it doesn't matter. You're, it, that's perfectly fine. That's, that's great. If that's how you function, if that's how you function better, then that's fine. You can have a completely structured day with no adventure and, well, roughly maybe some adventure, but nothing too, too big. It doesn't even matter. Whatever your day might be, as long as you're operating in a healthy way, that's perfect. That's perfect. But for Jake, for Jake, it's crucial. I need a new thing every day. I need a challenge. I need something to get me going and... To give me just some new some new vigor. So, to me, super important. Super, super important. And to you, just do a little exercise. See how important that would be to you. That you need to wake up every day with a new challenge, with a new thing. It doesn't always have to be the biggest challenge and the biggest thing. But, you know, some something small. Reading a book, doing that hobby, doing all that stuff. It, it, exclude the stuff that you must show up for, you know, school and, and work and all that, but focus on instruments or hobbies, general hobbies, books, whatever it is, uh, like a side hustle, a craft, whatever it may be that you don't have to show up for, but you would very much like to. That's your adventure. That's your challenge. So see how important it is to you. That's a little exercise. Um, but anyway, Furthermore, there is one little thing we need to realize when we're thinking about our challenges, which is that we need to have a passion for that challenge, for that new thing. We need to have a passion. I mean, of course, sometimes we don't actually do need to have a passion, but I'd say it's much healthier and better when we do. Because imagine you don't want to show up to that craft. You don't want to read that book. You don't want to make that thing. Then what kind of adventure is that? It's just a chore. It's just a task. That's no adventure. Adventure is supposed to be exciting. It's supposed to be new and it's supposed to give you some, some purpose, some vigor. It's supposed to get you up in the morning. and You're going to want to get after that first thing, first thing out of bed. That's what we want. But we need passion for that. So think about this when you're thinking about your, your, um, your adventures and all that. Think about, do I really have a passion for it? Do I actually like this thing? Do I really want it? Think about all that. But speaking of that topic, how can we really tell if we have passion for something? If we have a passion for that adventure, for that challenge, how can we tell? Well, I have a great two-step process just for this one. I, I don't have a name for it, 
I don't think I do need a name for it, but if you want to name it, that, that'd be awesome. My, it's just a super basic process that I made, and it works perfect for me. Basically, all you got to do is stage one, look at the basic thing. So for example, let's take a look at blogging, because this is my new adventure. This is the new adventure that Jake's going on. So let's take a look at blogs. What are the basic ideas? It's roughly something like, do I enjoy the idea of writing down my thoughts for people to look at across the world, for, to share with people? Is that an idea that I enjoy? Is it yes? Is it no? Just the basic idea. Don't think about, you know, what's it take to blog? How much time does it take? How much energy does it take? Does it cost any money? Does it do any this, this, this? Don't think about that. For now, at stage one, I just want you to think, do you like the idea of the utmost basic parts of that task? Which for this is just writing down my thoughts, editing, you know, all that stuff. Just making sure it's a clean, nice thing. And then I send it off for people to look at. Does that sound cool? Yeah, I think it sounds cool. If it doesn't, that's fine. If it doesn't for you, that isn't the end of the world. Don't even worry. That's fine. That's perfect. Because then you can go on and you can do this with another thing. I don't like blogging. What about YouTube? What about podcasts? What about this, this, this? You got a, you got a list of things you could do. And no matter what, that's perfectly fine. But stage two. Stage two is where we look into the deeper inner workings of this thing. So for blogging, once again, what I did for, uh, for, for blogging is I looked at, you know, what does it cost? Cost some time. It might cost money in the future. What will I have to do? Well, I have to make a website and, you know, I got to edit this thing. I got to put energy and time into this and I got to do a lot of stuff. There were a few more things, but the, the one last thing that I want, uh, that I want you to look at is it, it's kind of like a, whole other stage in itself, but I still like it in stage two because what you need to do is you just take a step back and ask yourself one last question, which is with all these things laid out in front of me, now that you know what it costs, how much energy you need to put into it, all that stuff. Now that I know all these things, do I still like the idea? Because your opinion will likely change. It's like, you know, going to the eye doctors because at the eye doctors, you... You, 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 you know those tests where it's like a blurry letter, or blurry number and all that, and they switch the lenses, right? It's like that. You, you get clearer and clearer the more lenses you put on. So stage one has a lens. Stage two has many lenses. And then at the end of stage two, that's when we get our finalized look at it. That's kind of when you put on the glasses. That's why I say it's like a three-stage process, but I think it can be two. It, it doesn't matter. The point is that your answer will likely change. Your opinion will likely change, but that's perfectly fine. Whether it was yes or no, it, well, if it was no, you probably wouldn't have gone into stage two, but if you did and it changed, then that, that's good. Or yeah, like that's, that's good either way. So no, ho however it changed, it's perfectly fine. Because if you look, if you come back and you look at everything laid out in front of you, knowing everything about this one thing that you're trying to do, and you like it, then that's perfect. You get a new adventure. You get a new uh, a new hobby, a new goal, a new task, whatever it might be. That's that's perfect. But if you don't like it, that that's still perfect too, because then you don't have to go off and do this. You don't have to commit to it, because often people will do this thing where before they do a, a form of my stage two process. It's not like this is widespread. I mean, maybe it is, maybe someone came up with this before me, but people won't think it through basically before people think it through, they'll just hop right into it. And then what they got to commit to it and they'll, they find out they don't like it. So, you know, that's not a great place to be. So for that matter, just try out this, uh, the two stage process, which is once again, in summary, look at the basic idea Ask yourself, do I like this? Do I not like this? And then move on to stage two, if you do like it. And ask yourself, what does this take? What does this cost? Make a little plan. Can I work with this? Can I still do it? And most of all, after all is said, do I still enjoy the idea of this thing? And then after that, you either get after it or you do this process again. It's as simple as that.
That's that's at least how it works for me. That's that's my method. So let me know if it gives you any trouble. I'll gladly help you out. But this this one's worked out for me extremely well. So just give it a try, and I promise you it will it will do it will do at least something something for you. Anyway, after you do that though, and you go on this new adventure, there's one last thing I'd like to talk to you about, which is what exactly do adventures bring us? What is the benefit? Because this is a this is a thing that we don't often realize when it comes to adventures and opportunities and all this stuff. We don't often realize all the things I'm about to say here. And I feel like it, it can't be overlooked. So, what do adventures bring me, in my opinion? Because I'm the only one or who can say 100% for me. And I can't say so for you. But for me, what, what, what does it bring for me, for Jake? Well, for Jake, I like to think of it like it brings me everything I have. Everything. All good, all bad, everything. I, th- I think it's the same for everybody. I'm, I'm confident because if you think about it the right way, everything that you see before you, every single thing, I'm looking all across my room right now, every single thing that I see here was brought on by an adventure. And sometimes they were big and sometimes they were small. Sometimes they were, they were in the middle. They were all different sizes of adventures. Sometimes they were good. Sometimes they were bad. Sometimes they were in the middle. There were all different types of adventures. It depends on how you look at it and, you know, how it turns out, all that stuff. So sometimes adventures will bring you good, sometimes they'll bring you bad. But depending on how you look at it, every adventure is good and every adventure is bad. So, for that matter, adventure brings us everything. Without our family, or, or, or without adventure, we'd have no family. Without adventure, we'd have no memories. Without adventure, we'd have no uh, none of our stuff here. We'd, we'd have none of our education. We'd have none of our goals. We'd have nothing. Because everything's an adventure in a way, right? Everything was a challenge. If you didn't go to school and you didn't try to, let's say you specialized in something. If you didn't specialize in that one thing, if you didn't go on that adventure, where would you be? Would you have the same job you have? Would you have the same career, all that stuff? Would you have the same family? And speaking on family, like what what, what if you're going to start a family with a girl or, or a guy, whatever it may be? If you didn't go out, if you didn't go and ask them out, if you didn't uh, begin the conversation, if you didn't do all the work, the dating to, to make a relationship, would you have your family? That was an adventure. If you didn't do that, if you didn't have that adventure, you wouldn't have your family. You wouldn't you wouldn't have your work. You wouldn't have the money, you wouldn't have the goals, you wouldn't have all this stuff. Adventure brings us everything. And as I said, it's big and it's small sometimes and it's good and it's bad depending on how you look at it, but I think no matter what, we need to be grateful for it and we need to realize that adventure brings us everything. Try to look at it all positively, of course. You know, there's some things like regrets. Regrets were brought to us by adventure, of course, but if we look at our regrets and we learn from them, we can't, I don't think that's a bad adventure. I think that's a good one. So try to focus positively like that, but just look at everything that's been brought to you and it's all adventures. So when I say that adventures will bring you, bring you everything, or at least it'll bring everything for me. That, that's what I mean. There, there would be nothing without our adventures and nothing without everyone else's. Your parents didn't go on adventures, you wouldn't be here. You don't go on adventures and stuff you're in, in your life won't be here. You see the point? Now that doesn't mean go all psycho about like, if I don't go on every single adventure and every single opportunity that um, I'll, I'll miss everything. No, that's not, what I, that's not what I mean. But just don't be afraid of adventure. Welcome it. Even the good, even the bad, even the big, even the small. It doesn't matter. If adventure all around should be welcomed in your life. I promise you, there's it's so much it's so much better when you try to have adventures. The question you should ask really is, you know, what would you do for adventure? What will you do? 
Because we just asked, what will adventure do for us? You should ask, what will you do for an adventure? Because adventures will give you everything. But how much are you willing to give yourself to the adventure? That's the way I'd like to look at it. Because without my, my will and my, my personal push to go on an adventure, I won't reap the benefits of what that adventure will bring me. So when I don't want to go on an, on an adventure, I ask myself why. And I ask myself what I would do to go on that one. To get the, or to get the, end, the end goal, the end benefit. And then after all that, I usually go on the adventure anyway. So, for that matter, try asking yourself both those questions. What will it do for me? And what would I do for that? And welcome it into your life. I promise you, it will benefit you so, so much. It's, it's, it's the reason I'm here, looking at this laptop, reading off this script. I can tell this video is longer than usual, though. But it doesn't matter. Because today, we're trying something new. That's the point of adventure. You're never always going to be the best at the beginning, right? But I think that's about everything my blog post had. I think I got it for the most part. I'm super sorry how long it took. I'm going to try and be more be more concise with it. But for now, it's the beginning stages, so so I don't mind. I, I hope you don't mind either. I still think this was a valuable, a valuable little lesson. At least it was for me. I, it took some time to learn this one for... Well, well for, for a long, long time. Many, many years of my life was understanding that concept. And of course, I haven't had the longest life. It's mostly been like three years of my life. The three years that I've had, um, had a solid intelligence, you could say. So, for, for that matter, it's been a lesson of mine. And I just hope it helps you a ton. So, once again, if you, if you'd like to see the blog and you'd like to read it, it it's going to be down in the description. I, I hope you enjoy it. It's a, let's check it, a five minute read, a five minute read if that's, um, that's right. I, I don't know if the calculator is good on this thing or not. I, I don't know. But the point is, it's there for you. It's not the most professional website yet. I don't know how it's going to go, right? So I'm not investing money into it. But that's where the lesson will be um, in, in, in blog, in blog form. So if you want to read that, it'll be down in the description. And um, yeah, that's about it. That's about it. So I hope this helps you a ton. I hope that my video wasn't too rambly. We're going to try and be better. I, I, I can already tell how long this one was. But we're, we're, we're going to see. We're going to see how this turns out. This was a lesson that took me much time to learn. So I hope this helps you so, so much. And my challenge for you today is just to go on an adventure. Just some adventure. Big or small. It doesn't matter. Just try something. I just want you to do that two-step process that I talk to you about and then see where it brings you because I'm confident that it will bring you something it'll bring you a lesson it'll bring you a thing it'll bring you a person it'll bring you something because that's what adventure does for us it gives us everything and anything so get on those adventures ask yourself what you will do and get on that adventure that's all though hope this helps you so so much Take care, my friend.